Hello, welcome to that hard United one stop for everything Manchester United. Leave a like on this video if you are relieved that the Premier League season is over for us because we finished eight with 60 points and a minus one goal difference, which is the first time we're doing that. And also finishing eight also is the worst finish in the Premier League history for us. What can we do? It has been a very shit season and I'm relieved that this season is over. Honestly, I am relieved. We know that um, the reason why this season has been so bad, we are due to some, due to so to many reasons, honestly, due to many reasons, from the takeover, which was lingering most of the season, to no signing, no signings in January, to the many injuries you have had this season, over 70 injuries this season, to Ten Hag also making some silly mistakes and players behaving stupidly, immaturely, um, not just being good enough, and all other factors. But the season is over, we have one more game left to, to, to play in the FA Cup final, Next Saturday, and of course, you know, finishing eight means we have no European, foo uh, European football for next season, except we can beat Manchester City in the FA Cup final next week, and then we might be. We, if we beat Man City, definitely we will get to qualify, qualify for the Europa League. But how possible is that um, to happen? How possible? Leave the comments in the comments and tell me: Can we beat Manchester City in the FA Cup final? Manchester City have just won four consecutive Premier League titles. Um, they're the best team in. In England, and um, of course, by the underdogs, beating them would be a miracle. So, right here, right now, for me, the season is over. I don't really expect us to beat them, but it is possible, and I'm going to be cheering for the team um, on Saturday. And let's see what we can do. We know that we know that most of our, most of our players will be back for that game. So Martinez will be back, and he's already back. Ashford is already back, and many of them will be back for that game. Maybe Shaw won't be back, and Malaysia, but many of them will be back, and let's see what we can achieve. Um, on that day, but yeah, the season is over. Um, the takeover caused a lot of issues. We didn't know um how um the structure around the club was it was shite all season. Um, so much as how it could have been handled better. Then we didn't sign any players in January, even when we needed a right a left back, and even when we needed to sign another striker to get us more goals, we didn't do that. And then um, we had too many injuries, and yeah. They had made some silly mistakes in between the season. Also, we had issues with Jaden Sancho and his behaviors, Marcus Rashford and his behaviors, and and then the injuries of key players, Inter Martinez, Casemiro on and off, Varane on, on and off, and um, yeah, I think the only player that that hasn't gone injured all through season, all through the season, was Ganacho and um, Diego Dalo, which was awesome from both of them. Even Wambisaka was in, out injured, um, Ari Maguire, Johnny Evans, everybody. Even Hoyland came in injured in the first place. So it was a shit show all throughout the season. And even um, then we have the issue with Anthony with his, um, with got, getting arrested and things like that. So the, the season has been messed up with lots of um, distractions. And, but yeah, it's finally over. I don't want to really go in depth talking about what happened this season. I want to start throwing blames. Tang is at fault. The players are, many players are not just good enough. The ownership of this club are useless. And are the main, one of the main reasons why we are where we are. But everybody has a, has a part to play. But, but after the FECO final, maybe you can talk about the season in, uh, as a whole. But the season is over. Now we have to focus on signing, new signings, the transfer window, in your time to take over. Um, of course, you can see that the future is really, really bright with our, with the players we have. And right here, right now, apart from the youth, our youth players, our youth prospects, Every other person has to be sold. And if they are sold, I won't blink an eye. But for, not everybody will be sold. But we need to clear out as many players as possible. Um, the Ineos needs to take over the situation with this club. They need to tell us what is the future of Eric Ten Hag. How is, why exactly are we waiting until the Cup final to announce what, what we are doing with Eric Ten Hag? Because does it mean if we lose the FA Cup final, Ten Hag might be sacked? Because if you know you're, you're going to keep him, why not just announce it even before the FA Cup final? There's no need to... To, um, to let it uh, go so far. But of course, we know that after the FA final, we we'll know what happens to everything hard. The FA Cup final is also, um, a chance for us to qualify for the European, for European football. That will give us, um, the chance to at least make more money financially. So we are hoping that we can do that, but let's see what happens. But yeah, the season is over. I'm glad it is, I'm glad it is over. Tell me in the comment section what is your verdict on the Premier League season 2023 slash 2024 season. What do you think is the reason why we are, we are so shit this season 
And if you were in charge of the club, what corrections will you meet so that next season will be a good season for us? But yeah, season is over and let's see what happens in the FA Cup final. And from today, from tomorrow, it's all about transfer news. And I'm going to be here to give you all the transfer news you need. Um, stay tuned for that. United, one stop for everything Manchester United. And I will see you all on the next one.